This is going to be a position where you're rocking on your hands and knees. It's usually very helpful for anybody with low back pain, SI joint, hip pain. This is a good starting position to work on some motion in a supported position. So I'm on my hands and knees and I have my fingers spread apart nice and wide. My elbows, I have them very lightly tucked in towards my side. My head is pulled back towards my uh, shoulders. You see I tuck my chin a little bit. Now with this one, as far as positioning the knees, you want to put them in the most comfortable position that allows you to sit back without feeling any pressure or pinching in the groin. So some people feel a little bit better with their knees wider. Some people feel okay with them underneath. It's really whatever feels most comfortable for you to then sit back with your butt towards your heels. So if you have any pressure or pinching in the groin, you can play around with going a little bit wider or a little bit closer together, typically just beyond the width of your hips with the knees slightly turned out is most comfortable. So with this one, you're gonna start off by sitting your butt back towards your hips. And as soon as you would feel anything be tight, whether it's the shoulder, your back, anything, that's where you would stop. You don't push through it. And as soon as you feel that tension, you're gonna to start to rock back up forward. Now here, tendency for people is to let their back dip. I wanna try and keep a little bit of tension in my stomach, maintaining this flat position of my lower back. And then what I usually have people do here is as they start to come forward, you see I kind of tuck my butt underneath me. So I make sure that my back keeps this nice straight position. And I keep that as long as I can. Now some people whose backs do not like this, that's where they stop. I have them go just to this plank and then they would go back once again, hips towards their heels as far as they can comfortably. Stomach tension coming forward just to this straight position. Now. Some patients that their back doesn't mind that extension, I'll let them slowly sag into a little bit of arch of the back. But notice what I do at my back is that my shoulder blades also sink together. So you'll see a lot of people with say upward dog and yoga where they keep their back flat and they have just this dip here. I don't wanna put all that pressure one second in my lumbar spine. So as I do come forward, if allowed, I'll let people still keep their butt tucked underneath them, still stomach tight, and even as they start to drop into a little extension, I still keep stomach tension so that as I come up here, I try and distribute a little bit of an arc through my whole spine, and I'm not dropping all the way to the extreme where I just feel this compression. I'm going to maybe here where I still feel like I'm engaging my trunk to support my back, let myself go through a little bit more range with the muscles supporting it versus just passively let my back feel compressed. So the full movement is slowly butt back towards the heels as far as I can comfortably. I engage the stomach and I keep that flat back with butt tucked underneath all the way in. If my back doesn't like to be extended, I'll stop here. If it's okay with it, I'll let it sag down a little, but only go into where I feel like I still have support for my stomach and no compression and then I'll slowly rock back again. From one extreme to the other, making sure that I engage some stability going through the motion. And you see how slow I move towards that straight or extended position to make sure I don't just lose it like that.